So it seems to me that the biggest discrepancy right now in crypto is that there are two pe two types of people. There's two camps here in the crypto market right now. And one of the camps is that we have bottomed and that the other camp is that we have not bottomed. One camp, one side of the crypto market, a lot of you guys who are watching this right now believe that yes, we have bottomed. The Bitcoin is ready to go. We've found enough volume. We found enough support for a long-term macro trend bottom here. And you guys also believe that the altcoin market is mature enough and ready to go for another crypto boom. And then you have the other party, which I am in, and some of you guys here tuning in is that we have not bottomed. Bitcoin has not found enough support, has not found enough volume. The interest is not high enough and the altcoin market is absolutely not mature enough for a, another crypto boom. There are people out there that believe that Bitcoin is going to, you know, either go to zero or go to a thousand or lower. Uh, I'm not really, I don't feel the need to address that right now. I'm just going to talk about whether we've bottomed or if we have a little bit more downside to go. So I just want to go over this a little bit, guys, uh, because really in the long term, it's not it's not a huge deal whether we bottomed here or we're going lower. If you're a long term believer in Bitcoin, you should probably have some skin in the game. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research if you want to get involved in this market. But also, I just want to take a look at this, uh, these charts from a little bit larger perspective here. Just back out a little bit so we can see uh, you know, the difference here, right? So in, in the last in the last uh, bull market and bear market, we saw a capitulation bottom that had volume levels that were on par with the bull market volume levels. And then of course here we ended up getting a lot more volume for the for the the beginning of the bull market. Now, right now we've seen in the bull market, we've seen volume levels this high. And we have not seen volume that is on par, not yet, in my opinion. Um, some people do believe we have, but I don't think so. Personally, I think that volume that I'm looking for will be coming in soon in this area and has not already taken place. Uh, I do think we have a lot more volume to find. We have a lot more, you know, guys, the, the, the shift between... In my opinion, the shift between going from a bear market to a bull market usually doesn't end in one foul swoop. It's usually sustained. It's usually, you know, you, things have to be really shaken up. It can't just be that, you know, one week we're sitting at 6,000 and the next week we're sitting at 3,000 or the next month and then the bear market's over. I don't think so, guys. I think things need a little bit more of a shake up right? Shake up in this market. We need a lot more volume here. We need that We need that real transfer of wealth to take place at the bottom of this market. And I do think that is coming and I don't think it has happened just yet. Um, if you're looking at this area in the past uh, bear market, bull market, you know, we had that capitulation volume that, had, that was on par with the bull market. And right before that, we had an area, uh, let's just pull it up. Let me just find the rectangle here right here we had an area that was like this and it and is it is just like the area we're in now right you where you find good a good amount of volume right decent volume is found here um in here as well but it's not on par it's not on par right it's not it's not the required volume levels in my opinion for a true bottom in this market um so you know i think right now we are in this stage right here right here here where we have a you know, an upsloping support line, a more horizontal resistance line, and we're due for another correction to the downside, right? Uh, upsloping support, horizontal resistance. I think that personally, if you're looking at this chart, I do think we're, we're due for a correction to the downside. You know, I personally do believe that we are in a stage like this one here, where we have we have fallen below our, our last major support level being 6,000. We're finding a little bit of support here, but uh, it's not enough. It's not enough just yet. And we are due for another break to the downside so we can get that necessary volume, create that shake up in the market and, uh, you know, get some of these altcoins that are worthless to, you know, um, go as close to zero as possible. And then maybe we'll be ready for a bull market, right? Um, so yeah, I just want to share this idea with you guys that, you know, the, the difference here, the real difference here uh, between these two camps that we're in right now, and people think we have bottomed, we haven't bottomed. It's uh, it's not too far off if you're just looking at the price, guys. It's not too far off. Um, it's not too unreasonable, in my opinion, to think that we might go six hundred dollars lower, twenty five hundred, than our last low at thirty one hundred. I don't think that's very unreasonable of a thought, and I do think it would benefit this market uh, immensely to do so. 
Um, we need that shakeup, guys. We need that shakeup, and we need we need uh, we need that the older cryptos, that old money, to be shaken up out of this market. And we need to really innovate. This market needs some true innovation. And I think we need more time. We need to mature a little bit more before we can get some moves to the upside. Uh, right now for Bitcoin, uh, you know, a lot of people are talking about uh, the, let's just go to the daily here. A lot of people have been discussing that the 50 is crossing the 100 right now, which is a bullish sign, which is true. But we also have on the weekly, the 50 crossing below the 100 day. On the, on, on the weekly here. So we have a bearish cross on the weekly and we have a potential a potential bullish cross coming on the daily. So there's a lot of contradicting variables right now. I personally believe that we are gonna see lower prices in this market. Um, you know, there could be some sh more short-term upside or something where we retest our highs, maybe even break out for a short period of time, but I don't think it's gonna last. I don't think we can sustain that right now. Um, the interest in Bitcoin is just not... Um, at a point that I don't think really what I'm looking for here, guys, is for the price to get to lower levels, shake people out of this market, get that sideways action, make it nice and boring. Um, you know, people need to give up on the market so that the bullish speculators can return at lower prices and push the market up. And it would have it would have a lot more velocity coming from the, those lows than right now and right here. You know what I mean? And if we spend more time at lower prices, I think we'll end up, the industry will mature. Uh, there will be more on-ramps for uh, institutions and so on and so forth. We'll just have more development. We'll have better cryptocurrencies to trade with uh, if we have a little bit more time to develop. And I think all of those things are going to come together soon. And I do think we are in for a bull market in the future, but just not now, guys. Just not now. So uh, I just want to show you. You know, the difference between bottoming now and uh, bottoming later is really um, not that big of a deal. And I do think that breaking down to our lower support channel here is the more likely scenario just in terms of the state that the crypto market is in right now. I think we could use a little bit of time to, you know, to mature, to innovate and for so people can take this industry seriously, guys. Right. So that's that is the impression that I'm under right now. That is my current opinion, but that is just my opinion. And you should all do your own research um, before investing or trading. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And I do have a Patreon if you're interested in joining that. And I will see you all in the next video.